Hi everybody, just a quick video today to talk about a tool that many of us have been looking for for a while now when it comes to InfoWorks 360 and that being a purpose-built tool dedicated solely to creating left turn lanes. So to get started what I'm using is I'm using the February 2016 release of InfoWorks 360 and what we'll do is we'll go in let's create an intersection and see how we can create these left turn lanes. So I'll begin by creating a design road uh, the design road that we'll create, we'll just create two local roads that cross and the style that I'm going to use is the boulevard with summer hardwood. I'm just using a, a basically a vanilla model. You could use any model that you have and I'm using the default styles that ship with the application so that you don't need to create anything special to do this. From here you could expand and maybe uh, build your own styles to accomplish some other uh, median configurations or with or without trees. Let's go ahead and we'll create another local road going the opposite direction. We'll go from here to here. All right, I'll bring my asset card down here so that's completely visible on the screen. And as we zoom up, we look, we see that we've got an intersection created. However, we don't have dedicated turn lanes. We've got lanes that are uh, set up to go straight through or that can turn left or right depending on which side of the uh, stripe that they're on. So the, the trick that we'll want to use to be able to create these dedicated turn lanes is we'll want to make sure that our median is of a width that would support a lane. In other words, it needs to be at least as wide as what our, our standard traveling or our driving lane would be. So to do that, let's go in and we'll modify the style that we used. So we'll come down to Style Palette. Move this asset card over to the side here. We will come down to Roads. And if I hover over this one, I can see this is Boulevard with Summer Hardwood, the one we used. I'll come down and select the pencil to edit that. And then looking at the parameters on the screen, we'll come down. We can see that this is a um, this is a definition that's basically consistent on either side. So we set up the right side. We've also got something uh, similar on the left. We can see that there's information that's been set up for the median as well as our uh, roadway. So what we're going to do is the roadway, we've got a value that's just under 10 feet. So I'm going to set up my median, my green space, to be 10 foot of green space. That would accommodate a lane. And then we should be all set to create our our left turn lane. So we'll scroll this up a touch. We'll say OK. That will update our model. And what we'll do is free up some, some screen real estate here. And when we come back and we look at our, our model now, let's take a look in this area. If I select the intersection, I'm going to leave this set to uh, geometry. And you'll notice as I hover over dis different areas of the intersection, I can start to adjust or make changes to specific values. But notice now if we hover over the median, the median now has a blue outline around it. If I were to select that with my left mouse button, I would get a grip. And when I get that grip, it says add center turn lane and I can take and drag back and build that lane. So I now have a dedicated left turn lane. We can also come back by uh, selecting these values and using the uh, asset card. Let's say that I wanted um, maybe 100 foot of storage, if you will, and then 75 foot of taper. I could set those values as well, hit enter, and it would automatically update my lanes accordingly. All right, I could then go around and I could do the, the same on the remaining three legs so that we could create perhaps uh, opposing lanes. Once again, something we've been looking for for a while in InfoWorks 360, and we now have it. So um, using this, this tool, we can create more complex intersections than what we had before. We can create intersections that are more consistent with modeling things that uh, exist out in the field. And then from this, we can start to move into other areas like traffic simulation and other um, forms of visualization to help us out with, uh, with our design, both existing and proposed. So with that, I hope the information is helpful, and uh, thank you for your time and attention.